manageable at first, but then in the spike, then obviously I would have to pay more attention to what's happening on ground. But it, it managed to work out in my favor still, because ob obviously by working here, I was able then to link the classes with the actual experience. All right, so I was at the hospital. Quite like my colleague, I was doing eight years as a relief worker already. And that was a bit strenuous, you know, being on and off, on and off. And then the pandemic hit and I was asked a question and I, I, I read my options and I really, at the moment, didn't have much to lose. So I, I took the opportunity and I, I came on full board. Uh, nervous at first, but slowly got into it. Had great training from the beginning, so that prepared me mentally and physically for the task. In the transition from Blackman, I got up to here. Right, I, I shared, showed a keen interest in the training. Whenever training was being conducted, and that is in the personal protective equipment and also hand hygiene steps and basic education on, on organisms and viruses and diseases. And back from school days, I always had an interest in science. I, I did biology and I, I was great at it. And I, I felt a nudge and an urge. And I was aware of a training program that was going on and conducted by PAHO. And I enrolled in it. And that was over the basis of five, five or six months. I completed that. And that birthed me into being in infection control. Of course, I had to apply, so I write to the chairman of the hospital. And I was honored and granted the privilege to be a part of this department. And I can say that has, has boosted me in some aspects of my life, giving confidence and expanding knowledge. And I believe in elevation as a young man. Yeah. And just, just to be clear, the name of the um, qualification that you got for the power program. Right, so this is the um, COVID, COVID response with power training of the pandemic. That's basically it. But after achieving that, I went on and I did another, another course with power. And that too granted me another certificate based around COVID. And so just to excel from there, I went on to WHO and it completed a total of six or seven certificates, yeah. And one one being clinical management with COVID. And talk to me about how you were able to translate that to the day-to-day -day operations here at Hansen Right, so uh, the, the director of the facility, we know that he's the head of infectious disease, uh, but obviously he had numerous tasks on his hand. So I filled the gap when it came to training of the personnel coming in when for the environmental services or the orderlies. Also it would help facilitate in um, auditing procedures in the in the in the facility to make sure everything is infection free. Yeah. And the being able to work at the facility while simultaneously um, attempting to better yourself from a, a qualification standpoint, how difficult was that? Oh, so it, it became quite, it was manageable at first, but then in the spike, then obviously I would have to pay more attention to what's happening on ground. But it, it managed to work out in my favor still, because ob obviously by working here, I was able then to link the classes with the actual experience. So it did work out in my favor. Currently, I'm waiting, awaiting acceptance from the inaugural infection prevention and control program, um, diploma program in Jamaica, UWE Mona. That's what I'm, I'm waiting on that. Also, I'm still conducting various trainings, or train retraining the whole facility, and also the other facilities that were up at that moment. And so it's just to, to, to further my studies right now and to get more knowledge 
in, in faction and control. Also, to make everyone aware that antimicrobial resistance is like a slow moving pandemic at the moment. And our lovely Prime Minister, she's at the head of this. Um, and she's, she, she's at the forefront of the chair in, internationally. So I would like to offer my services back into the hospital if given this opportunity. It would be a, a great appreciation.